So I, I deconstructed my shooting and tried to figure out how to fix it, right? Went to a bunch of training classes, you know, Ben Stoger, went back to Frank, um, did, did a bunch of different, you know, com competitive type shooting classes and really worked on kind of understanding that shooting needs to be trained like any other athletic skill. That was kind of the realization I had, right? And that in the tactical side of things, we don't typically do that. We're not really training it like athletes train. So I really did a deep dive after that into like sports psychology, training methodology, all of that stuff to apply it to my shooting. So that was one thing that was a huge improvement because of competition. The other thing was that, like I said, I got tired of losing matches. So I started working on the sporting aspects of USPSA, the movement stuff, everything else, which at first looks very different than tactical application, right? But the more I did that, the better I got at CQB and the better I got at the tactical side of things, even though they're different. And I realized that training the movement for USPSA, like an athlete, gives you both a different way of looking at movement that makes you better at moving tactically, but also increases the attributes that you need to move well tactically, even though tactics are different than a USPSA stage. And I'll be honest, I did not expect that carryover at first, but it was huge. It, it literally transformed my CQB. It made it markedly better, which was something I hadn't expected at all. So you've definitely hurt some feelings just with that, right? There's a lot of people that say, you know, you're going to, it's going to get you killed in a gunfight shooting USPSA. And you would argue absolutely the opposite. As long as you understand tactics, because you do have to understand that, right? Sure. But here's the thing though, that people don't really think about is that Excellent shooting can overcome tactical mistakes, but excellent tactics cannot overcome a lack of shooting skill. All the tactics in the world won't help you if you can't hit your target effectively in the time you're given in the situation, right? So it doesn't matter, you know, everybody talks about their mindset and their tactics and it being a fight. And that stuff is all true, right? It is a fight and your mindset does matter, but if you can't shoot well enough, fast enough, that all of that other stuff isn't going to help. Yeah, I, I think it might have been Frank Proctor who said, or somebody, and, and I quote it a lot in our classes, but, you know, every competition is not a gunfight, but every gunfight is a competition, you know. So, um, you know, knowing knowing that, like you said, knowing the tactics, but knowing the competition side too, is only going to make you a better person in general, right? A better gunfighter, a better shooter, better everything. Absolutely. And there's something else too, right? And I could chalk this up to just the way I'm wired because, you know, I'm, I'm probably a little bit different than most people mentally, right? But the same statement has been said to me by lots of other people with similar backgrounds to mine, both law enforcement and military. I have never been as stressed by a gunfight as I am by a USPSA match. So, you know, that, that psychological pressure matters because you have to perform under pressure for the real thing. And it's the best way I've found to put that pressure on myself. <clears throat> You know, a lot of people do, you know, they'll do PT and then shoot, which has value as a test because you may wind up in a physical confrontation or if you're a soldier, you might have an infill that smokes you and then you have to get in a gunfight, right? So those things have value as tests, but that doesn't stress me psychologically the same way a match does. Um, competition, right? Going up against someone else does that because you don't want to look bad. Um, I think it was Jeff Cooper that said, men will live and die for points because competition is bloodless combat. And I, I really believe that. I mean, and that was a guy that had been in gunfights and helped create Ipsic. So I think he was onto something there. I think he kind of knew a little bit about what he was talking about. Sure. And I always talk about like complete episode available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app. New Green Ops podcast episodes available every Thursday. 
Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the new content.